When it comes to looking great, we all love a quick fix. Fashion hacks, if you will. And when it comes to hacks videos on YouTube, there's really only one place to start. It's gotta be five minute crafts. With over 49 million subscribers and a seemingly endless pool of videos, these guys seem to know more hacks than Neo from the Matrix. What? What the hell? And recently they've made some fashion hacks videos for men. So me and my friend Levi thought, why not test some of these out to see if they're actually worth using and if it's gonna make your life easier and faster, or if it's just gonna make your life more complicated. I've been having some tricky clothing problems recently, so let's see how Five Minute Crafts can solve them. These shoes, they're looking pretty dirty, but who needs cleaning wipes when you've got banana skin? Did you know, Phoebe, apparently, if I use this banana skin and wipe it on my shoes, they'll instantly become clean. You're joking me. Well, this is one I'm intrigued to find out about because um, I've told my nan about this one and she reckons that it might work. All right, they're looking pretty muddy at the moment. So I'm just gonna grab some of the skin. I, apparently it's the inside of the skin. So I'm gonna rub that. Got a bit of mud here, this will be perfect. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess it, it's getting rid of a tiny bit of the mud stain in. Uh, though it, it is replacing it with pieces of banana and I'm not sure if this is any more effective than just rubbing it with a cloth or a wipe anyway, but it then says to use this to just sort of wipe off the residue. Look at all the bits of banana that are trapped. Disgust, look at this. Now, I've got wonderful clean trainers. We've only got one problem now, aside from the fact that the trainers don't really look any different, is that we've got loads of banana skin all over the table, so I need a wipe anyway <laughs> to wipe it up. So overall, not really the most effective, but who cares about how dirty these are or not when I can just do the laces up fancy and it'll look cool. With this one, I'm not sure, is, it, is this a hack? I thought hacks were supposed to make your life easier. I'm just trying to follow along the video <laughs> to see if it works. Oh, no. oh my god. The video is so fast. Oh no, this needs to be there. This is like origami with laces. I've got more lace holes than is in the video. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. But no worries, no worries. Oh, just tie my knot and then it looks like the picture. Hmm. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. Let's see how useful this hack is. I mean, who needs normal laces or any good tucking methods when you could just have your laces stylishly dangling under your shoe like this? Beautiful. This isn't a hack that works. If you haven't already noticed as well, this shirt's so creased, especially the collar. What can we do about that? Well, according to 5-Minute Crafts, all I need to do is spray a little bit of water on these areas and then use my girlfriend's straighteners and all will be good. And I'll have a perfectly crisp collar. Let's give it a try. In the video, he doesn't take the shirt off so I'm just gonna do the same as him. Soak myself. Nice. God, that's cold. Okay. I hope this doesn't burn my shirt. Well, are there any temperature settings on this? This is so much more difficult than it looks. Oh my finger! Fudge! Look at this, I'm hacking away. Well, it's certainly um, hot, although that crease at the top isn't going. I'm really nervous, I'm just gonna burn my neck. Nice. I think I've got the technique down. Looks brilliant. Okay, has that done anything? I don't think it's done anything, has no. <laughs> If anything, I think it's made it a bit worse at the top. Maybe it's just the shape of these straighteners. Maybe they have it's different great. shapes of straighteners. <laughs> I suppose. I think the best way to do it would be to go down here, but I think it's a bit risky. I don't want to burn my neck. So that, realistically, compared to just getting an iron and just doing it with an iron, it's not exactly a hack, is it? 
But you know what? That isn't the last of my creasing problems that I'm attempting to solve. I mean, look at this t-shirt. It is full of creases, but apparently the best hack to use for this one is soak myself in water and then use a hairdryer and blast myself dry. And in the process, it's possibly gonna remove all the creases. Let's see. Would you be able to have this off me? Oh my God. In the video, he was soaking wet when he did this, so I need to make sure that I'm absolutely wringing wet. I'm sure this is a great way to hypothermia. And now, we dry. Is this actually working, do you think? Looks like it might be working, slightly. Yeah, but you missed the bottom bit. Right, that'll have to do. I feel like we're doing that forever, but I think this hack might have actually worked, do you reckon? Compared to the bit on the sides where I didn't wet it, compared to the bit in the middle, it is still fractionally damp, but I think it definitely has less creases in. So, uh, surprisingly, this one seems to have worked. That being said, I'm pretty much hacked out after all of this. Levi, it's your turn to take over. That being said, I'm pretty much hacked out after all of this. Levi, it's your turn to take over. What? What the hell? Gentlemen, my ladies, my name is Levi Peters from Demetrius Levi. I help dudes find their personal style, but we also talk grooming, lifestyle, even philosophy with a lot of memes and anime now, apparently. So yeah, five minute crafts. Ugh. First one on this list is a five second tie knot. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Again, let's do this. Freaking, what is he? Oh, what is he even grabbing? Two hours later. Hey, I finally did it. Sweet. I mean, it didn't take five seconds, but here, let me put this on. Not the right shirt, but right, let's see how well this stays. Not bad, but to be honest, here's why I'm a little confused at. Why would you need to tie a tie in five seconds? This is much harder than just learning how to do a normal foreign hand or whatever, you know? And you know what, you, yeah, what, what situation are you going to be in where it needs to take five, you need five seconds. You just have five seconds to tie your tie or else what, you're dead, you're doomed, you're fired, I don't know. Hmm. And the major problem here is this only just takes into account one tie knot. Which, you don't just want one tie knot if you have different shirts with different collar types on them. You know, you have widespread, you have pin, you got... Yada yada yada, you know, so many of them. Is this really helpful? Is this a hack? No, not in my book. Let's look at the next one. All right, let's see what the next one is. Okay, okay. All right. I don't know though about this one. It may work, it may not. It's hard to find pants that fit me because if they do fit me around the waist, they're tied around the thighs. Cause you know, 
I'd be so thick. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, these are my best fitting pants right here. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, I guess. But like, how precise is this supposed to be? Is this just supposed to be an average? Are you supposed to pull it as tight as you can? Is it just, are the tips just allowed to touch? Mm. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say this works, but you know what's probably an easier thing to do? Figure out what your waist size is and then just check the tag. I mean, I really don't know when this will come in handy, maybe thrift shopping. I mean, so yeah, I probably won't be trying this hack anytime soon, but maybe I should get some pants on and uh, let's start the other hack. This ain't the epitome of lazy. <laughs> Ooh, there, I don't want to see what that is. Wow. Let's try it though. I think this is uh, wrinkly enough for our test. Oh, and fantastic band, by the way, from my hometown. Go check them out. Um, but you know what? Let's just start with this mega lazy men's hack. All right, there, let's lay you down. Nice and comfortable lock. There we go. All right, now. Now I just gotta sit here and wait. You know what? They never said how long I was supposed to wait. What the heck? Oh, they call five minute crafts. I'm gonna wait five minutes. Let's see if you really hold up to your knee, boy. You know what? It kind of worked. Ain't that bad. But you know what? I'll be honest. Uh, the shirt is really wrinkle resistant. It took me forever to get even a little bit of wrinkles on it. But I wore it because, you know, it's the band, you know. Gotta support them. Uh, but you know what? This was totally useless still. With all that time, you could have just sprayed it with a water bottle. And that takes out the wrinkles and, you know, you flap it real hard and, and it actually works. So, or just iron it. So, this was still useless and stupid. It looks really lazy. Next one. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, 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 I hope that works, because you know what? I got some dirty tennis shoes, and I got a vacuum. Let's try it. Ha. Let's do this. Well, that was an utter disappointment. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, 5-Minute Crafts. <laughs> Thanks. Why is it even called 5-Minute Crafts anyway? It's either 20 seconds or 20 minutes to do each craft, and usually these videos and compilations are all like over 10 minutes, so which one is it? Is there even 5 minutes involved anywhere in any of the videos? Because I've watched a lot and I can't find any. Personally, the worst part for me is that they're based in Lamaso or... Nemesos, Cyprus, my Greeks, why? I'll spare you and mourn in my own time. Ben, back to you, mate.
Thanks for the assistance, Levi. Those were some interesting results. If you're one of my regular viewers, I'd highly recommend going and checking out his channel. He's got some really entertaining content. The editing is fantastic as well. Make sure you subscribe to Levi. There's a link to his channel in the description. Let me know what you think of these hacks in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.